The Eglin EOD flight is actually the largest and busiest uh, Air Force EOD flight. Anything that flies on an aircraft, blows up, explodes, uh, or, or, or tries to provide some sort of kinetic effect on the battlefield, uh, we support the research, development, test, and evaluation of that. Most people think of EOD and they think of counter idea missions, training, uh, and support uh, to the President of the United States. But here at Eglin, we've got a, a very unique uh, mission set. So we support the research, test, and evaluation here at Eglin Air Force Base. Uh, we provide explosive safety subject matter expertise while in range to help out our uh, test engineers, program managers, and uh, industry partners. Uh, we're the only, actually the only Air Force uh, UD flight that supports uh, the rd &E mission. So the UD mission here at Eglin is unique from any other uh, base with the UD because we support the 96 test wing. So that entails us being on standby for their missions um, after they've conducted any any kind of test on any munition, uh, we're there to make sure all the explosives have either detonated fully or rendered them safe if they have not. The way we get after that unique mission set is by using uh, very specialized equipment here, particularly robotics. Um, so we have a Brock system that we use here uh, to help uh, get a greater standoff distance uh, for when we need to recover items uh, off, the, off the test range. So this is our Brock robot. Uh, these are the Predator arms on it. They're capable of lifting a 2,000 pound bomb out of the ground. But we also have a, an excavator attachment so we can excavate to get those bombs out of the ground a little easier. The arms represent each arm of the Brock, so the right side and the left side arms that also have a haptic feedback. So if you were to push against the ground or push too hard, it will actually stop you from going further. My favorite aspect of being an EOD tech is the constant learning. Um, I think that's what a lot of people don't, don't know about the job, maybe from recruiters, is that it's a very forensic job. It's very uh, problem solving oriented. Um, you have to be able to think through different situations that may not be standardized and be able to figure it out, solve the problem, make sure everyone goes home safe. Uh, my favorite aspect of being an EOD tech is definitely the family aspect. I could trust everybody here at this flight and any other flight that I can go to with my life and I just love having that team to support me.